Hi, I'm Eva Yurchik, and this is my first novel, The Department of Rare Books and Special Collections. When I was a grad student, I lied on my resume and said I spoke a bunch of Eastern European languages, most of which I couldn't even read the alphabets of. I'm sorry to say, the lie paid off and it landed me a job at the university's Rare Books Library, and it was a door to a whole new world. I might come into work and find Marshall McLuhan's annotated version of Finnegan's Wake on my desk, or I would ride in the elevator with Shakespeare's first folio and it was being brought up to a researcher, or I had to turn the corner in the stacks and come face to face with Frederick Banting's Nobel Prize. And the people that I worked with, they were even more fascinating than the objects that they collected and cataloged. There was this really nice man with a Scottish brogue who maybe used to work for the British Intelligence Service? Maybe? He'd sort of wink and laugh when you asked him about it. And there was this fabulous woman who had a lover who had decamped from a Russian ballet company to be with her. They were fascinating and mysterious. And all day long, I'd sit there at my desk, pretend I could read the Czech book in front of me and imagine stories about this Motley crew. And so was born the Department of Rare Books and Special Collections. My book follows the professional and private life of Liesl Weiss as she's promoted to the head of the library under dreadful circumstances. The 40-year-old library was founded by this charismatic man of letters. And now, amid a scandal that threatens the library's reputation, she's reminded at every stage that she'll never measure up to this legendary leader. First, a book goes missing. Then, a librarian does. But at every stage, she's told to keep the doors open, keep up appearances, and keep the donors happy. The book is driven by a protagonist at a stage in her life where women sort of become invisible. And as the secrets of the library and the people who work there reveal themselves, she realizes that nothing in the place is as it seems. I'm not gonna tell you any more because, spoilers, but it has missing books and a septuagenarian love affair and lots of good stuff like that. I hope you love these strange librarians as much as I do. Happy reading.